Hi everyone, this is Hello and Jedo Design. Today we are making a beautiful dress with a diaper cover. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial and I'm going to show you how to achieve that. This diaper cover, I'm going to give it out as a free pattern paper. Please, if I'm giving you free pattern paper, I'm not going to add any measurement on the, the pattern paper. It's a free pattern paper. Go and download it and make it for your kids or loved ones. And secondly, please be respectful when you make a comment, especially those who are downloading pattern paper. Some of you are very disrespectful. I have seen some comment which is not really, really nice and most of the time I don't accept that. Sometimes I might respond to the person, sometimes I will not just respond to the person. If someone gives you something for free, you should be thankful and download it. I don't want someone to tell me, send it to my email. I don't want someone to tell me, why are you not putting measurement? What is the point? We don't need it. Please be respectful. That is most of the reason I stopped giving out free pattern paper for a very long time. So today I'm going to show you how to make this and I'm going to show you how to place your diaper cover pattern paper on the fabric and then cut it out. Please watch the video and also like the video. If we have a lot of subscribers, I believe most of you should be watching the video. How do we have more than 6,000 subscribers and we don't have a thousand view? Please watch the video, like the video, share the video to your friends and loved ones. The more you share the video, the more you like the video, the more you comment, YouTube will push us out to the algorithm. And let's get started. First thing that you have to do, you have to cut your fabric. I have cut out my fabric. I have shown many times how to cut out your fabric. And I've also shown many times how to place your pattern paper and cut out your fabric. So this is my zipper. I'm using invisible zipper for this dress making. And the cap sleeve, I have also shown how to make your cap sleeve on my YouTube. I will put the link on the description box below. And I have also cut out the front and the back made fabric. And I've also cut out the lining. And this is the lining of my cap sleeve. And I've also cut out the skirt, both the front and the back. And I've also cut out the lining. So this is how I cut my May fabric. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our diaper cover on our fabric and cut it out. You can use your May fabric to make your diaper cover because I don't have enough fabric. That is why I'm using the lining fabric to make the diaper cover. If the child wear the dress, the dress is going to cover the diaper cover. So I will just open my fabric, pin it all around and then add my seam allowance and I will show you how to cut that out. I have add my one centimeter seam allowance all around the diaper cover. And I've also add my one centimeter seam allowance at the back diaper cover. What I'm going to do, I will take my scissors and cut it out. When I upload the diaper cover on my website, when you are downloading the diaper cover, make sure to add your seam allowance. It depends on the seam allowance that you prefer. That is why when I give out free pattern paper, I don't add seam allowance. I want you to add the seam allowance that you prefer. So make sure you add your seam allowance. Once you add it, take your scissors and cut out your diaper cover. First thing that you have to do, you open your May fabric. This is the front of my May fabric. You take the back pieces. You are going to put the both shoulder seam together. Before putting the both shoulder seam together, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. You go ahead and stitch the shoulder seam with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. Once you have done that, you take your lining. You are going to repeat the same process. Put the both shoulders seam together. Make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. Stitch it with your seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Stitch the shoulder seam together. Once you have done stitching, take it to your ironing board. Make sure to press the seam apart. 
The next thing that you have to do, you take your diaper cover. This is the back and this is the front. When you place your pattern paper on your fabric, make sure that your pattern paper is on fold. The front is going to be on fold and the back is going to be on fold. Cut it out and add your seam allowance. So what I'm going to do, I will put the bottom of the diaper cover, I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done stitching, I will take it to my overlocker, I will overlock the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do is to take your cap sleeve. This is my cap sleeve and this is the lining. This is the front of my cap sleeve. I'll put the both front together. I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch the bottom edge of the cap sleeve. And I will also repeat the same process with the second sleeve. Front fabric facing each other. I will stitch the bottom with one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. Turn it inside out, take it to my ironing board and give it a good press. I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress. I pressed the seam apart and I've also stitched my cap sleeve. This is how it is, turn it inside out, give it a good press and I just go ahead and stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge and I've stitched my lining, press the seam apart and I've also stitched my diaper cover. I overlock the raw edges. You can also see that I have started pinning my cap sleeve at the armhole of my top dress. So what you are going to do before you pin it on your top dress, you have to measure inside. From the side seam, we are going to take the measurement. So what you are going to do, you pick your measuring tape, place it like this from the side seam. I measure down four centimeter is right here. And from this other side, you repeat the same process. From the side seam, you measure inside four centimeter. Once you take that measurement, fold your cap sleeve into two and give it a notch at the center. Once you give it a notch, the notch and the shoulder seam, you pin that together. Once you pin that together, the next thing that you have to do, this is where my four centimeter end, you pick your cap sleeve. This is the raw edges. Make sure that the raw edges is facing out. You pin that together. And when you're pinning your cap sleeve, make sure that both front fabric are facing each other. And you come down to this other side, you repeat the same process. The raw edges, make sure it's pointing out and pin it in place. Once you have done pinning, what you are going to do, you are going to gather this cap sleeve at the top edge of the shoulder seam. Gather the sleeve at the top edge of the shoulder seam. I have pinned the cap sleeve at the armhole of my top dress. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, you go ahead and stitch it together. When you are stitching, make sure that it's not up to your seam allowance. Once you have done stitching, remove the pins and you pick your lining, you place your lining on top of it like this. At this time, you are going to stitch around the armhole and the neckline. You just pin the both armhole and the neckline together. You take it to your sewing machine for the second time. You stitch around the armhole with one centimeter seam allowance and you also stitch around the neckline with one centimeter seam allowance. When you are stitching the neckline, remember to measure your zipper seam allowance inside. Once you have done that, take your scissors, snip a little bit out from the seam allowance, turn it inside out, take it to an ironing board and give it a good press. The next thing that you have to do, you, you take your mid skirt, this is my front of my mid skirt and this is the back, put them together, you stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance, depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. And you also come down to this side, put the both front fabric together, stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges. 
and you also repeat the same process with your lining. Pull them together, stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance, and also stitch this other side with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, take it to your overlocker, overlock the raw edges, or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. Once you have done that, make sure to set your sewing machine to the longest stitch, and stitch a gather stitch thread at the top edge of your skirt, both the lining and the main fabric. I have stitched the neckline of my top dress and I've also stitched the armhole. You can see how beautiful that is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to put the both sides seam of this top dress together. Put them together like this. You are going to stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. You come down to this other side, make fabric facing each other, lining facing each other. You stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done stitching, turn it inside out, take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. And I've also stitched the side seam of my skirt and I've set my sewing machine to the longest stitch. I've stitched a gather stitch thread at the top edge of my skirt and I've also repeat the same process with my lining. I have stitched the side seam of my top dress. This is how it is. I turn it inside out and I give it a nice good press. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to gather my skirt at the waistline of the top dress. So go ahead and gather your skirt at the waistline of the top dress and you also repeat the same process with your lining. When you're gathering the lining, make sure that you separate the lining from the top dress. You also gather the lining on the lining side. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch it all around. My seam allowance is 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. Once I am done with that, I will remove the gather stitch thread, take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges. And I will also overlock the center back raw edges. I have stitched my skirt around the waistline of my top dress and I take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges. This is how it looks once you have done that. The next thing that you have to do is to stitch your invisible zipper at the center back. I have shown you guys many times on how to stitch your zipper at the center back and how to use your lining to cover the raw edges of your zipper. So that is what I'm going to do. I will open my zipper, stitch it all around and then use my lining to cover the raw edges. Once I am done with that, I will take my diaper cover. So this is my diaper cover. This is the back and this is the front. So what you are going to do, you are going to cut a very long fabric. We are going to use bias binding to bind the both leg hole. So you pin your bias binding around the leg hole. You pin it all around. Take it to your sewing machine. Stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. Depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric. Once you have done with that, Trim a little bit out from the seam allowance, fold it inside and then fold it again and top stitch. You will also repeat the same process with the other leg hole. I have stitched my zipper in place. This is how it is. Once you have done that, I will just open it. So this is how the inside of the dress will look once you stitch your zipper and you use your lining to cover the raw edges. The next thing that you have to do is to finish stitching the center back. All you have to do, put them together like this. 
pin it in place and stitch it all the way down. If you don't know how to stitch that, I will put a link on the description box below on how to stitch the zipper from where it ends all the way down to the hem level. And then you take the lining, you also repeat the same process, put them together, stitch it from here all the way down. Once you have done that, you use the opportunity to hem your dress. Once you have done that, we take our diaper cover. So this is our diaper cover. I have also uh, used my bias binding to bind the leg hole of the diaper cover. What we are going to do, we are going to attach our elastic and the leg hole of the diaper cover. So I will tell you the measurement of my elastic. You place your measuring tape. You are going to cut 28 centimeter or 11 inch. Once you take that measurement, cut your elastic, take your pin, place it like this on the elastic. What you are going to do, you are going to pass your elastic through this hole right here. Before it gets inside the hole, make sure to take a pin and secure it on this other side and continue passing your elastic through all the way to the other end. When you are cutting your elastic, make sure you are cutting two pieces. Place my elastic around the leg hole. This is how it is and I'll secure it with my pins. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine. You just stop stitching in place. Once you have done stitching and then you put them together like this, you are going to stitch the side seam of the diaper cover. Put them together, top stitch with your seam allowance. My seam allowance is one centimeter. And then you come down to this other side, put them together stitch it together once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the raw edges i have finished stitching the center back of my dress making this is how it look and this is the finished hem i just hem the dress all around including the lining this is how it look once you have done making your own dress the next thing that we have to do is to stitch the waistband around the waistline of our diaper cover so what you are going to do you are going to cut just exactly the same size of the waistband so I'm going to tell you the width of my waistband. I'll place my measuring tape like this. The width of my waistband is seven centimeters. If you're using inches, measure 2.75 inch. And I fold it inside this side of the raw edges. I fold it inside one centimeter. It also depends on the width of your elastic. That is also the width of the band that you are going to cut. So I have 2.5 centimeters, so I have 0.5 centimeters so that the elastic can move around properly. Once you cut the band, all you have to do, you know the mid part of the center back of your diaper cover. You come down here and then you pull them together like this. And then you take your pin, you are going to pin it all around the waist line of this diaper cover i have pinning all around the waistline when you are pinning it on your waistline make sure the both front fabric are facing each other so this is the back of my diaper cover so i place it on the front side what you are going to do take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all around my seam allowance is one centimeter once you have done stitching take your scissor trim a little bit out from the seam allowance I have stitched it all around. This is how it is. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to use this uh, one centimeter to cover the raw edges of the diaper cover. All you have to do is just to pin it all around. Remember when you are taking it to your sewing machine and top stitch, you have to leave a gap. So I will go ahead and pin it all around. Once I am done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and top stitch it all around. I will leave about two centimeters. That is where I am going to pass my elastic through. I 
I have top stitch my waistband around the waistline of the diaper cover. The next thing that you have to do is to cut your elastic. To be able to get the measurement of your elastic, take your measuring tape, measure around your child waistline. Any measurement that you get, that is the elastic that you are going to cut. So once you cut that elastic, all you have to do, place a pin and pass it through the hole that you did not stitch. So this is the hole right here. I will pass it through all around and I will come out on this other side of the waist band. So go ahead and repeat the same process. I have passed my elastic through. The next thing that you have to do is to take your elastic, put them together like this. Take your pin, secure that together. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch two to three times to secure the elastic. Once you have secured the elastic, push it inside and finish closing the open gap. Once you have done that, the diaper cover is ready and I will show you the final look of my diaper cover. This is the final look of my diaper cover. I have top stitched the open guard. This is how it is once you have done that. This is how the dress and the diaper cover will look once you have done making yours. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like the video, share the video to your friends and loved ones. And you all should have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.